There we go. Okay, so next up we have Derek and Cognigy. Derek, how are you? I'm doing good. Good morning and good afternoon. I'm going to start my video here. How are you? Do, doing great. Good to see you. Uh, thanks to you and Cognigy for being part of Voice of Customer Service with us. Thank you so much. Uh, should I go ahead and kick it off or do you mm -hmm. want to do an intro? Yeah, uh, yeah. so I'm going to make you the host, which I just great. did, um, so you can share your screen and uh, be off and running. All right. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. Let me just take a moment to share my screen. And Bradley, tell me if you see the wonderful Big Sur backdrop there. Okay, excellent. So welcome. So the topic for today is extending customer experience using conversational AI and RPA. Um, this is a um, could be a new topic to you or it could be familiar to you and my offer is I'll have some interesting stuff to share regardless of of kind of your experience level and so here's what I'll present I'm going to start off with an overview of conversational automation and the reason it matters um, so this will be a little bit of talking at the forefront just to set the stage for why this technology um, is interesting and valuable. Then I'll show a demo of how conversational technologies and automation technologies can work together. So your patience of listening to me talk will be rewarded with some show and tell, which I hope you'll enjoy. And then lastly, I'm going to talk about two customer use cases where chatbots, voice bots, and backend automation come together. So that's going to be the game plan. So let's get started. I want to talk about a little bit about the fundamentals of kind of why we're here. So many companies have seen the value of offering live chat, so human chat, through different channels to their customers. But the challenge of live messaging for businesses is scale. How do we keep up with the volume of messages that our customers might send over the many different messaging channels they use? The only way we can carry on a dialogue with our customers at scale is through conversational automation. Instead of having people handling every interaction, we have people design interactions. So we teach artificial intelligence systems how to understand and fulfill on customers' needs using our lived experience of how they interact with our customer service teams. And we enable the system to start learning on its own based on feedback we get from customers. So what's going on in our on our head as business leaders is how can I create an experience for my customers that they'll prefer over human to human interactions? How can my organization realize cost savings from automation that really make it a win-win for the customers and employees who are using conversational interfaces? We want experiences that are intelligent and connected that draw our users in and turn them on with results rather than just frustrating and alienating them. So let's do that. Let's talk about creating something new, experiences that really support our users' desires to interact through conversational interfaces, both messaging and voice. We want to provide 24-7 coverage, and we want to help users accomplish goals through interactions that feel intelligent. So our first step is going to be to talk about the automation behind chatbots and voice bots. For too long, there's two powerful automation technologies that have taken different paths in the enterprise. Robotic process automation, or you'll hear me say RPA, found its home primarily in the back office, automating processes in the CFO organization. RPA has proven useful anywhere there are repetitive, error-prone tasks, typically involving multiple systems or spreadsheets that could be quickly and easily done by a machine. On the other hand, chatbots or virtual agents have really lived in the domain of customer experience, automating interactions with users through a natural language interface. So organizations can automate any customer service conversation that doesn't require human reasoning and judgment. So RPA automates tasks and chatbots automate conversations. But nowhere are these technologies better combined than in the contact center, a place where chatbots might be new and RPA is often unknown. What is RPA, if you're not familiar with it? If you Google the definition of RPA, this is what you'll get. RPA is the use of software with artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities to handle high volume, repeatable tasks that previously required humans to perform. These tasks can include queries, calculations, and maintenance of records and transactions. And I'll add to that definition that RPA is helpful for applications that lack modern APIs. 
So if you have people either in your contact center or behind the scenes who are looking at an email and then updating a value in a spreadsheet and then entering that into a legacy inventory system, RPA can help by automating all of that clicking and typing. And in its kind of most traditional sense, that, that's what RPA is. It's automated mouse movements and clicking and automated keyboard input for systems that don't have APIs. RPA is really focused on driving out repetitive manual touch points and business processes. It's intended to speed up those business processes, make them more accurate, and drive down the cost of running them. And for those of you not familiar, there's a number of vendors delivering RPA in the marketplace, such as Automation Anywhere, UiPath, Blue Prism, Cofax, and Abbey, and many others. And under these domains, they offer a number of different uh, offerings, like um, some of the our traditional RPA I was talking about, as well as OCR technologies for handling documents and much more. What is the current user interaction with RPA today? So in other words, how do I interact with the RPA system? Well, it's email, so monitoring an email inbox, or it's interacting with the user interface of the RPA bot itself, or it's file transfers, like if I'm monitoring a network share or something like that. But none of these provide a real-time interaction with the RPA. But the RPA chatbot integration is really a game-changing combination. An RPA-powered chatbot extends the reach to the back office enterprise systems of record that have typically been siloed and inaccessible. RPA-powered intelligent chatbots retrieve information from those systems and handle more complex real-time requests and queries, both securely and at scale. Chatbot users' requests trigger the RPA to perform specific tasks without the need for human intervention, executing them and then responding back to the customer either in real time or if needed, you know, an hour later with a human-like engagement. So as an example, in the case of a customer applying for a mortgage, the chatbot can, if I start the conversation with the chatbot, my mortgage application, the chatbot can collect the relevant data for an RPA-enabled process to submit a credit and background check with an external credit bureau to determine my credit worthiness. And this can take place while I continue to enter additional information required for the completion of the application. The RPA-enabled mortgage application process can then return to me asking me confirmation information such as what was my last known address or what is a prior credit card number to confirm the authenticity of who I am and my credit worthiness in real time. Now, this represents a real time interactive customer engagement where the customer is interacting with a corporate back end system and not having to interact with customer support or go back and forth with a lot of emails between myself and uh, the company I'm trying to get a loan from. So conversational automation, as a result of this potential, it's quickly becoming recognized as really the next step in digital automation or intelligent automation. While RPA mimics user actions and performs these task-based operations, conversational AI provides the stimulus to kick those processes off and delivers customers, employees, and business partners the information they're looking for in a self-service engagement model. RPA and conversation technologies are really a perfect complement. They pick up where the other leaves off. While RPA kicks off, automates, and oversees the execution of business processes, conversational AI manages that really important human interaction part of the process. Conversation AI allows the customer, employee, or business partner to query those automated processes and provides them with the results from the completed process. And these interactions can take place on a multiple a number of different channels, voice, text, chat, um, web, and more, WhatsApp. The combination of intelligent chatbots and RPA solves several common problems enterprise are facing today. It helps organizations meet rising customer expectations. So we all kind of want to interact with organizations on our own terms, however we feel like in the moment, through whatever channel that we want. Um, and it also lowers the cost of doing this by combining the automation capabilities of RPA and the self-service features of the intelligent chatbot. So leveraging these technologies together, companies get a consistent and scalable way to process higher levels of demand more consistently, more accurately, and with higher levels of end user personalization, which really gives you exceptional levels of customer experience. And to make this more practical, let's consider the potential of these technologies using a common contact center metric, which is average handle time. 
So average handle time is the average time it takes to handle a contact from start to finish. So from beginning a call or a chat to all the wait time to the actual interaction with an agent and then any post call or post contact work required to log the call or fulfill the user's request. An average handle time is an important metric for two reasons. First off, in a contact center, time is money. So every minute we're spending with an agent impacts the contact center's ability to scale. So if handle time goes down from five minutes to four minutes, then we need fewer agents to fulfill the, to fulfill the same number of calls. And then for consumers, naturally, higher handle times causes us frustration. Every minute I have to wait on hold or sit quietly while the agent's kind of going from screen to screen or application to application. Uh, it just erodes my goodwill and kind of work, uh, gnaws at my patients. And while I'm waiting on hold, these poor agents often have to access three to five different systems, sometimes even more, just searching for information and updating records. So I, as a caller or as a customer, I see myself as one person, but an organization might see me as multiple records in a CRM, in a claim system, in an ERP system, in a service desk system, and more. So it's common um, also for departments to work with multiple systems. Some of them are homegrown too. So agents are kind of moving from screen to screen, kind of changing information there. None of that is automated. It's not easy for them, and it's not easy for me as a caller. RPA is really an ideal technology to make the agent's life easier and significantly reduce handle time. When a customer needs to change their address on the order, the agent should be able to update the information once and then let the RPA bot do all the rest of the work in every other system where that address might live. Um, when an agent needs to look up a customer's order history across multiple different product lines and companies, this is often the case if there's been acquisitions, for example, they should be able to do that at the click of a button rather than manually accessing every system where an order has been placed or tracked. Chatbots and voice bots optimize this even further. So I was telling you an, what the agent experiences. But with chatbots and voice bots, when the customer starts with a chatbot rather than a human agent, they can express themselves in natural language and the AI will determine their intent. So if a user says, I wanna change the delivery address for the order I made last week, the AI understands they need to change their order and that the time frame for that order was last week. The chatbot can then pass the customer's updated delivery address to an RPA bot I can then find all the systems that might have the different information and update it accordingly. And all of this can be handled instantly without any human handling. This really reduces handle time to seconds rather than minutes. So one customer we have, we're a global company, um, and this is an example of a customer in Germany. It's an insurance company who used a messaging interface. They didn't do the voice part, but they used a messaging interface through their website to transform how customers access and completed a claims filing process. So before implementing their conversational claim solution, their customers would do one of three things when they submitted a claim. This was a claim for a specialized kind of insurance around traffic violations. So they'd have to either call their claim in or they'd have to send an email to a email address or they even have to mail um, their claim information in. And this really required the user to print or scan the documentation needed for their claim. They might have to mail it in using either email or postal mail. And then ORG themselves would have to process the message to get it into their claims management system. It involved a ton of manual work on the part of the customer and the workers having to handle the claims documentation. So to make it easier and less error prone for everyone, they built a conversational claim experience. And the solution includes conversational AI that guides the user through the conversation, similar to what we did on the voice scenario. Um, it asks the user, it collects information from the user to help with the claim. And then the user is asked to upload case relevant documents. So through the chatbot, they can upload a, um, in this case, it's a traffic citation that gets processed on the back end by OCR technology that in turn is fed into their RPA system. And so in the end, they were able to create an end-to-end -end automation solution for claims filing. And it, the impact of the project has been really huge. They got a lot greater efficiencies by having a fully digitized and automated reporting process. They, they removed all manual collection of documentation, which really lowered their transaction costs. In the process, they have a much better customer experience. 
So with that, I wanna take up more time. Thank you, Bradley. That's um, what I have to share today. And what I'll just offer up is if anyone wants to uh, learn more about Cognigy, you can go to cognigy.com or find me on LinkedIn.